Hey, g'day guys, Strav3887 here again. So I'm Trav and welcome to the channel. So uh, today I thought I'd talk to you guys about the um, the Haviscus fan, so your fan hub on the 1KZ. So pretty much this is a common problem throughout these motors. Um, the fan, there's, there's actually oil inside the fan and that'll weep out over time. You don't have to buy a new fan hub unless it's stuff then you do, but um, most of the time you can just buy $25 worth of oil from your local Toyota dealership, which I'm gonna put in a, um, a link, so just the part number and show you what it looks like. Uh, 25 bucks, that's that's pretty cool. And about probably two hours worth of labor just to um, put it in. Pretty much the easiest way to tell if your um, your fan hub is on the way out or it's or it's bugging. When your motor's hot, go to your fan hub, spin your, spin your fan. Now if your fan's loose like, I mean like a fan, like a normal fan, like a pedestal fan or ceiling fan, turns like that, it's, it's bugging. Um, you want to have resistance. So what happens is when it gets hot, the oil gets thicker inside the um, like the venturi inside the fan, and then therefore it's like a one to one ratio. Um, it'll be pretty much locked up solid. Now these things here, or most Toyotas have the same similar hibiscus setup. Now the, it's all pretty well general. Just use that same oil. But with the one KZ, everyone knows most of the time. Most people know that these things are susceptible to doing heads. And now that being said. If your fan is on the brink and you get this thing hot, you'll most likely cook your motor. You don't want to do that because it's not cheap to do a head on one of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it all down, strip it all apart. I'll show you it'll be on high speed, so it'll just be a time lapse video on how to take it all apart. But I'll show you what to do first, um, where, what's located, what's involved in taking it apart. We'll split the fan hub in half, we'll oil it put it back together um, and just pretty much just show you exactly what's involved in stripping a fan. Um, we're putting your new oil in it and um, yeah, save you guys from cooking your motor because uh, these little things don't like heat. So enjoy the video guys. Um, also too, I'd like to give a big shout out to Ringwood Off-Road. So these guys are actually a sponsor for this video. So Floyd and his team in Melbourne have a qualified uh, four-wheel drive specialist place in Melbourne. So they do all sorts of four wheel drive modifications, light modifications, heavy modifications. Um, I'll drop a link in the description for them guys. They're awesome dudes to deal with. Um, I know Floyd pretty well. Uh, personally, he's a great dude. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. Got a sponsor, which is pretty damn cool. Um, didn't think we'd get this far, but we have. So check this out. Shout out to you guys for doing a sponsorship. I'm gonna put a link in for you guys. Awesome. All right, first things first. Battery wiring loom. Undo that one nut, undo the three wire connections here, move the wiring loom out of the way, top radiator hose comes off, you're going to lose coolant, um, so I suggest putting a bucket down to catch your coolant. Um, then you have a couple nuts, well a couple bolts sorry, so there's a bolt there, there's one here, and then there's one down further, come back over this side. And then you have another one here, and then one just down below. Now the one on the other side down the bottom is probably easier to do underneath. All right, so just come down here, check this out. Remove your bash plate, it's already done that. And then just up in here, you'll see there's a fair bit of crap in the way, just some hoses, you know, for the power steering and that. So that one's probably the hardest one to get to. That's pretty much it uh, uh, for that part there. And then we get down to where your fan hub is, and you've got four nuts would hold the fan hub to your uh, your water pump pulley. Just undo them, turn it around, turn them, turn the engine over, or turn the belt around. Get the other four off, and then you won't have to adjust your belts because it just it'll kick. And then just pull it all off together, um, sort of the fan and the shroud together, and that's pretty much it. And then from there we will get the fan out and split it and show you what's involved there. All right, so wiring looms out of the way. As you can see, the clip points, shroud is undone, off. Now we will drop a bit of coolant out and remove the top rated hose and then we'll go from down to the fan, remove the bolts or nuts in there and then we will pull it out. I'll show you what that's all about. All right, so drop your coolant, drop a little bit of coolant out. There is a screw here. And I'll let you bleed your coolant.
All right, there should be enough coolant drained out, so now we'll do the top rated hose. Didn't lose no coolant, so that's a positive. How good's that? Oh. So you can't get your fan tread out. So we've got to undo the nuts on the fan hub. All right, so now we remove the fan hub and the shroud. There we go. So there's your hibiscus fan hub. I'll show you guys how to take this apart, split it, put the oil in. Alright, now we'll move the fan blade off the hub. Just a 10 mil. Just 10 mil nuts, four of them. Fan comes straight off. Now, probably advisable to get a impact screwdriver. So when you hit it with a hammer, it, it torques it to crack it. Um, if it hasn't been touched in ages, wouldn't I had to do it. this one done the first time, we had to use an impact driver. Um, this shouldn't be too bad, you should be able to just tap it with a screwdriver on a block of wood, tap it and crack it. Um, but um, keep watching. That's your, your fan hub, and it's not far now from splitting this. All right. There's one. It's easy as that. Works in the same principle, but with an impact driver, when you hit it, it torques it, so it cracks it. By doing this, it shocks it anyway. So make sure you use a good screwdriver. You, you stuff this up, it's not, not good. Show you guys what's inside. That's that, that's part. Now it should, with a little bit of love, pop in half. Okay, I just heard it pop. Yep, there she is. All right. Okay. There you go. That's what's inside your hibiscus fan. As you can see, these galleries are meant to be full of oil. Now, obviously it's not. It's only half full. So I should only need to use one tube of the oil, of the silicon oil, which is this stuff here. 
So we'll just put one tube in there. Just fill up the little galleries. And just take note, there's an O-ring here too, so you don't want to damage this O-ring. That goes back in that rib there. So what you do is you just fill it up. Which is actually pretty empty, to be honest with you. I've lost a bit of oil. I was actually only going to make this video just to show you what to do, but I'm glad I did because I actually needed to do it. So you're only going to fill one side up, obviously. So just fill this side here. Okay. Sarring back on the other side. I can grab hold of it. So just make sure the iron goes back in neatly. You don't want to ruin the seal. Don't let no crap go in there. All right, so as you can see, that's now full of oil. So I don't need to use this oil here. So I need to use one, but normally when they're dry, like when they, when the fan hub spins very freely, like a fan, like a pedestal fan, like I said, you will need two of these. So we don't need to use this, I can save it for next time, which is gonna be good. Now, we'll just reassemble the fan. Just reversed to what it was before. Straight forward. Just like that. Now, I'm not too sure on the specifications for the tension to tighten these back up, but um, I just do them up firm. Did them up firm last time and and it was all good. So also guys, this is a 10 blade fan, which is a lot better than the standard fan. I believe the standard fan's only like a six blade. This is draws a lot more air. So just put this back on here. And we're pretty well ready to put it back in the car. It's not very far off now. I hope these videos have been helping you guys out with your builds. I had to learn Pretty much myself to um, do all these builds. It's too expensive to pay a, pay a builder. You soon learn real quick. Let's do them up tight. Not sure on the specs. If you get a workshop manual, it'll tell you. stiff now, yeah? like really stiff. Oh, chuck it back in the car. That's so how we got all the um all the bolts back in the in the water pump. So we're just gonna use a screwdriver to lock off lock it off so I can tighten them up. Okay, well, that's done. So next we'll just put the shrouds back on, make that right, and we're pretty well on the home straight.
that, 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 that. And we'll put some coolant back in it. And we pretty well should be right to start her up and have a listen. All right, we're ready for startup. Guys, we're going to do a bit of a test to see the sound of the um, induction noise and the fan. They should be able to hear the fan pretty clear. Hear that? between a standard Hilux and mine, so everyone knows it's modified. So we're going to be towing the boat, and there's a couple of places that I've got some mad hills, so we're going to be trying them out there. But anyway, first things first, big thanks to our sponsor, Ringwood Off-Road. To all of you guys, videos would like this wouldn't happen, so cheers guys. Check them out, I'll drop a link in the description. Check out Ringwood Off-Road. Awesome. Cheers. 